In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can essentially group your data into custom buckets. So what do I mean by that? Let's dive into our example. Now you can see on the screen here, I have a small list of companies. These companies aren't real, by the way. And I can see the number of employees that work at each of these companies. Again, this is not accurate. And what I effectively want to do here is I want to add a classification so I know if this company is small, medium or large based on my own custom classification. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to type out into another table or another group of cells exactly what small, medium and large means. So you can see here in columns G to I, I have the range. So if the company has one to 100 employees, I've classified that as a small company. 101 to 300 is medium and then 301 to 500 is large. Now, the first thing you need to do here is you need to add the lower threshold for each of these different buckets. So that really is the lowest number that occurs in the bucket. So for the first bucket, that's one, the second bucket, 101, and the third bucket, 301. And we can now use this information to perform an X lookup and get it to return the classification of each of these companies based off of the number of employees. So we're going to jump straight into X lookup. And remember, this is one of the newer lookup functions in Excel. And this is really easy to use. The first argument here is the lookup value. Now our lookup value is going to be the number of employees. So C4, comma. Where are we looking this up? Well, we're going to look it up in the threshold column. So we're going to select this small column of data just here. Now, remember, we are going to copy this formula down. We don't want that to move. So we need to lock it by pressing F4 to put those dollar symbols in. Comma. What do we want to return? Well, I want to return the actual classification. So this column just here. And again, because we're going to copy it down, we need to lock it by pressing F4. Now, this formula is running into the other table, so it's a bit easier to see if we work in the formula bar. Now, notice the last three arguments of the XLOOKUP function are all optional. They're all in those square brackets. Now, for this particular example, I'm not going to specify what to output if it's not found. So we're going to skip over this particular argument by pressing two commas, which will move us onto match mode. Because this argument we do want to add. And we want to have a minus one in here, which means exact match or next smaller item. We're then going to close off our formula, hit enter, and then we can copy it down. Double click. And take a look at that. Like magic, we've organized these into different buckets based on the number of employees. And then, of course, if we wanted to, to make this a little bit easier to read, we could go up to the data tab and we could choose to sort them A to Z or Z to A. And we now have all of the small companies together, all of the medium and all of the large. If you enjoyed this tip and found it useful, then give me a little like, maybe consider following me. It is the new year after all, and I will see you in the next video.